Okay, I think that's that. And yes, we got the contract fulfilled. So, okay, we did it with a 40 ton pad, but very barely. All right, back to Space Center. Well, we still want solar panels no matter what. So let's get that queued up. 435 days. What should we do next? Venus flyby. Okay, which other planet? I don't want to do crude yet because we have to unlock a lot of technologies before we do crude. And, you know, at least pods. Where is Where are our pods again? Space exploration. Oh, uh, here, here. Simple command modules. We will get. I mean, the Mark One pod is right there, though. Oh, we we are point two science away from the Mark One pod, but I sort of have a policy of maybe not wanting to use the Mark One pod. I should bring my the Vegas pod that I made for RP One into here as a two-person pod, maybe, and then move up the Lynx Neo, which is a three-person pod. And then also move up the uh, the oh the Lynx Neo S is the three person pod, and then Lynx Neo is a four person pod, so we can move those up a notch so that this is one person pod two three four would be my ideal. Uh, but anyway, for now it's the way it is. The Vegas pod that I made for RP one was to replace this advanced command pod. I didn't like the look of it. So anyway, but. All that aside, we aren't ready to unlock that stuff yet. And we probably could use a whole bunch of other things to help out with crewed missions as well. So for now, we're going to try and get science other ways. Oh, let's go to tracking station and see which moon would be good. Not which moon, which plant would be good. Venus will eventually catch up to us. We have to build the rocket first. So I think Venus is a good opportunity. Let's get the alarm for it. We actually don't have trajectory planner in here right now. So we'll just have the sort of lazy alarm that Curve Alarm Clock has. Okay, but we can't trust that one. That's not going to be accurate. We'll take the Venus flyby contract, and then we'll see how we can do that. It's all about communication, really. Oh, we could have picked up this science day from the surface of the moon one. That's 18 years, so I guess we'll get that for now. Eventually we'll get that. Okay. Okay, Venus flyby. Well, let's see. Can this little guy do Venus? No. <laughs> no, the little antenna can't do Venus. Maybe if we boost it up a bit? Or a lot? No. Even that much, it can do something at the minimum distance, apparently, but not the maximum distance. Okay, how about the X-band? Still no. Okay, we need better antennae then, huh? In basic science, right? We've got comms tech level 3. Got this retracting antenna. That's not a whole lot, but the capstone satellite, well, it's probably not properly configured for real antennae though. Electrix has comm level 4, but it doesn't have a separate dish. The dishes come here precision engineering. The Helix antenna has more than this relay antenna. So it's the one with the best gain that we've got. It's the same as the Communitron 16. So maybe we were premature in picking up the Venus contract. So this is three years. So we have enough time to get the technology, but we can't make this window then. But we would have to do the VAB, not the VAB, the R&D building upgrade in order to unlock a science with more than 160. I'm going to see if I can reconfigure the tiny little uh, relay antenna for that. We'll set to 1.0. Are you okay now? Okay, well it's got something. 
All right, I'll have to upload this fix. All right, so finally fixed this relay antenna for CubeSat, so it's actually more like a dish antenna with a beam width and all that business. And maybe it can help us with interplanetary missions. We will see. We will test that out and then I will upload the fix if it turns out okay. Okay, we don't need those engines. We actually could do with fewer engines overall. We do need to make sure that soul panels are enough. Where did this thing's node go? This thing definitely has a top node. Hmm. Node disappearances continue to be an issue. I think we'll just have it like that. It just needs to be transferred out. That should be enough for the transfer. And then this is just corrections and maybe making orbit, but we're not required to make orbit or anything. Serenity B for Venus. Oh, maybe I should actually configure the antenna properly, huh? Ah, uh, we need a lot of power to get any transmission rate at max distance. Um, is X-Band any better? X-Band is better. Oh, wait, not so much. 50 decibel meters takes a lot of watts. This can get a lot of watts, potentially. And that, that's only power that's taken when we're active. Hmm. Now let me put in some more... Some more batteries. But we'll have to keep in mind that that has an outsized effect on our... Delta V that isn't being reflected properly. Okay, well, I'm gonna just eyeball the transfer window. Probably what we get from basic science would help. Oh, maybe I have to unlock it in the, uh, the R&D building first. The Comtech 3, I don't know if we have to pay for it separately, let's check. Oh, I think we automatically own it in this method of doing things. So, if we increase this to Comtech level 3, will that make it a little bit better? We don't have to have so much transmit power, maybe? Okay, I don't think it's really reading it. <laughs> okay, uh, no, Venus. Ah. No, we still need 50. It cuts down a little bit on the power consumption, though. We still need 50. Oh well. Well, a little bit of reduced power consumption is good. Something, anyway. That window is probably not too far off. Yeah, that looks okay to me. Alright, let's give it a go. First interplanetary mission. Can we do it? We'll just line up with the moon first. As an approximation to the ecliptic. I mean, we, uh, wait, we don't have transfer window planner information, so yeah. Probably the best thing to do. Uh, just nighttime. Okay, throttle up. <laughs> we still we're still using CubeSats. Ignition and launch and frisky. Well, we're definitely past max Q here. Okay, staging. Okay, fairings. Well, let's get the little dish out. Okay, we'll deorbit that. Uh, 
That leaves us with 4,000 to transfer to Venus, but how much will it cost? Well, I guess we could see what Mechjeb's opinion is on it. ESAP, create. Well, it's a little bit longer than I wanted, but okay. It's still within our budget. Let's try and do that. It's taking like the full power right now. Well, here we we are recharging right now, but that's also because we're not using the S band antenna to send our signal. We're just using UHF and ignition. Okay, about midway through the burn for Venus, everything looking well. I'm just going to do it as planned and then fix it later. Okay. Let's see. Not got as much left in this stage as I thought we would have, but we'll do corrections with the next stage. Hopefully we haven't gone too far. Um, well, uh, there seems to be an encounter. Not much, though. Now, the contract wants us below 20,000 kilometers. That's not a problem. I don't think there's any issue with keeping some inclination there. That'll be fine. Let's do this correction with this stage, since it seems to have enough. Okay, oh, stop, 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 stop. Ah, that's not what you said would happen. I think a mid-course correction with this stage should still work out, let's see. Okay, yeah, we'll use this stage for the mid-course correction. Let's just hop to it. We do have our first probe leaving Earth deliberately. <laughs> I I don't think we had one do that before in this series. There probably some that left Earth unintentionally. Uh, I forget if I tried a random Mars one. It's possible. Uh, well, suddenly it knocked down... Oh, I forgot about random failures, though. Hmm. On this long trip, we just lost a battery, and we might lose more batteries. The good news is that our power seems balanced even though this antenna takes a lot of power. That's only going to get better as we get closer to Venus. But if we don't have any batteries left, that's going to be an issue. Oh. Oh, 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 we had some fluctuations, but I think that was just because of the time warp. Uh, time warping very quickly is a problem for keeping track of electric charge. Oh, yeah, I don't like that happening. We had an RCS port failure. No, not an RCS port failure. The failures take me out of time warp is part of the problem here. Uh, we've lost a lot of RCS ports. <laughs> we do have a lot of RCS ports, but it's somewhat worrying that we've lost quite a lot. Oh no, we lost all electric charge. Why? No! Oh, while I was talking... It went this way. Oh, gosh. Um... <laughs> Don't tell anyone. That's a bit more wobbly than I like. That it's wobbly because of the thrusters we've lost, but it'll be good enough for now. Okay, well we don't have as much delta V we barely have enough delta V to complete this thing, so let's see. That should be good enough already. Well, it's within the requirements, so we'll take that for now and correct it when we get there. We'll have this hang out with us. Um, but we're going to have to turn. And it's going to throw us off. And it's just barely beyond the 20,000 kilometers that we need.
great. Yeah, again, because we've lost the thrusters, our roll is wobbly. Uh oh, power fluctuations. Okay, it's stable like that. Uh, we're getting into we we got we we're in into trouble. We went into trouble. Turn, 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 turn. We've lost most of the thruster ports up here too. Okay, we are approaching Venus. And this is too far for completing the contract, so we're going to go ahead and do a radial burn in. Ah, this stage doesn't have any delta V left. Next. Oh, science. So despite the random failures that we got, it seems like we survived pretty well. Okay, but am I uh, putting it on a side that I'll have comms? Uh, well, around the bend we're going to lose comms. But we'll have comms up to periapsis, I think. Once again, a wobbly rotation, but still one pointed at the sun enough for us to recharge. Okay, towards Venus. Up oh, there it is. Doesn't look super Venus-y. Not quite the right color as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we've got the Venus flyby done. And let's see, do we have enough to capture into orbit? No. No, we do not. Yep, we'll need more than 1,800. And we do not have that. Okay, but let's get some more science while we can. Only the gravity scan is surface biome dependent. But there's plenty of those. Islands. Island. Highlands, I think we've done still. Oh, temperature. Oh, this is new actually because we're closer. Oh, volcanic rise. Let's try that before we lose comms. Or oh, we actually have enough inclination that we won't lose comms. All right. But I don't think we're hitting another biome. So it's all done. It did the Venus flyby mission. Alright, back to Space Center. Okay, well we got a bunch more science, and maybe we should devote that to pods. So that we can finally send a Kerbal somewhere. So we'll research enhance, enhanced survivability and simple command modules. We probably, probably need something else that I'm not thinking of right now. But we'll start off with those. Maybe heavy rocketry will give us powerful engines that we might need, but I think we have enough here. Mars flyby may or may not be doable. It's longer duration than the Venus flyby. It didn't seem like our failures were too bad, but uncrewed Venus landing. Well, that's that's a separate issue. Um, but yeah, maybe that's a possibility. 